Hey, what's up guys? My name is Dr. Austin Ivins, and in this video, we're gonna be going over the McGill Big Three. Now, these are for you out there who are experiencing low back pain. If you were in the gym, you may have done a deadlift wrong and it left you with some low back pain or you had another event in the gym. Uh, or you're doing all the back strengthening exercises and you're still experiencing low back pain. Uh, it may not be a strength problem, it may be a stability problem. Also, for all you out there who are getting adjusted, these are great movements to do prior or after your chiropractic adjustment to be able to create stability within your spine, okay? So the McGill Big Three consists of the curl up, the bird dog, and the side plank. I'm gonna be going over those with you right now, okay? We're gonna start with the curl up. So you will start on your back your hands will come right under your lumbar spine there. You're gonna keep one knee bent. You're gonna keep your shoulders on the ground. We're gonna pair this with some exhales. So on the exhale, you're gonna take a big breath in and on the exhale, you're gonna lift your head up off the ground, okay? Not to drive. You shouldn't feel your low back push into your hands. You should feel very stable through your low back. So. You're gonna take a big breath in, you're gonna exhale. And we're gonna hold there anywhere between 10 and 15 seconds. And then you're just gonna drop your head back down. And that's a curl up. It is not a sit up, so we're not getting that full, the shoulders to come up off the ground. We're just looking to build stability within the spine. So, one more time. Big breath in, exhale. And then once we come into this up position, you can continue to breathe, just keeping the stability within your spine. Perfect. You're gonna do that about three to five times, or you can do some sort of pyramid drop scheme to where you do, um, say six reps, and then four reps, and then two reps, with about 20 to 30 second rest in between, okay? For the next movement, we're gonna be doing the bird dog. So you're gonna be on all fours. From here, you're gonna take one leg back and one arm forward, okay? From here, we don't want to see the hips falling, okay? Or the shoulder falling here. You wanna make sure that your back stays nice and neutral to find a neutral spine, we can do a little cat cow so the back arches up or the belly drops down and right in the middle should be your neutral spine. We can regress this movement to just do one arm or one leg when we're first starting out if it does feel a little unstable and then we'll work into doing both the arm and leg at the same time, driving the heel and fist forward. That's to help incorporate a couple more muscles and activation through the shoulder and through the hip. Same thing, you're gonna be able to hold those anywhere between 10 to 15 seconds and then doing some sort of pyramid uh, rep scheme to drop that, to do those in multiple sets. Last one will be the side plank. So from here, you're gonna keep your off hand on your shoulder your other arm will be on the ground. And then we're gonna start with our knees on the ground here. So what I'm looking for is I'm gonna drive from my hips and then drive them forward as I come up into that side plank. So arm is on the opposite shoulder. I'm gonna pick my hips up and forward. I'm gonna hold that for anywhere between 10 to 15 seconds. I'll drop and I can switch that as well over to the other side. If you're looking to have a progression, if that seems to be pretty easy, then you can extend the legs out and pick the hips up and forward from there. Okay, again, anywhere between 10 uh, to 15 seconds, and then some sort of pyramid scheme to be able to replicate that over time to build that stability within your spine. Cool. You guys can do this as part of a morning routine. So whenever you wake up in the morning, before your workout, 
or after that chiropractic adjustment to really build the stability within your spine. If you're needing to find a chiropractor in your area, feel free to reach out because we can always get you connected to someone uh, closer to you. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Hope you guys found value in this video and I'll see you soon.